The Bosch Colt Plunge Base Micro Adjuster. What we're trying to demonstrate here is using the micro adjuster for a really small plunge. So I've got my uh, router bit in that I want to use for this particular dado. I want it to be less than an eighth and so to do that I can use this micro adjuster. You turn it a few rotations uh, clockwise but not so far that it, it falls off the screw. So you've got it so you have some room to turn it back counterclockwise. Steps would be to plunge down to where your router bit barely hits the top of your workpiece. Don't press on it or anything. Then loosen this and push the depth dot rod down so that it's on the very bottom plateau of the turret. Uh, that would be what we would call our zero position. Now, if I want to do a one-eighth cut, then I, I could use the turret because these are one-eighth steps. But let's say I want to do a one-sixteenth cut uh, depth-wise. Bring it up, and I'm going to rotate this. Each complete rotation in a, a counterclockwise position will raise this by one-thirty-second of an inch. So if I want to do 1 16th, that's, that's 2 30 seconds. So I'm going to go around twice. There's little indicators on it that are each quarter or each 90, you know, one quarter of the way around. So those would each be 1 over 128 as far as a portion of an inch. So I want to go, I'm going to try to do a 1 16th cut. So I'm going to rotate this two complete times. So that's quarter, half, three quarters, one, quarter, half, three quarters, two. Now that's raised that by a sixteenth of an inch. So when I do my plunge, it should be a sixteenth of an inch deep uh, because it's, let's give her a go. My only purpose here was to demonstrate this little micro adjustment device. You could obviously do that same depth of cut even with a fixed router. You don't have to have a plunge router with any kind of a device just to set the, uh, the depth of the bit. Small workshop guy, signing off.